Welcome to another exciting episode of the Evo Council. Today, I'm going to be playing a really, really old Sega CD game. Uh, it's called Pen and Teller Smoke and Mirrors. This game is supposed to be funny as hell um, and realistic as hell. Realistic in the terms of uh, that it plays like life. So without further ado, Penn and Teller's Smoke and Mirrors for the Sega CD. So this game apparently has um, several different games inside of it. The one I'm really uh, curious to play is Desert Bus, but I think I think I'm gonna if, if I'm gonna try to play them in order of the of uh, in which they uh, they're on this game. So let's see what this is all about. Penn and Teller Smoke and Mirrors, 1995. <clears throat> Interesting intro. Penn Teller, Smoke and Mirrors. Alright. Credit design, Penn and Teller, Barry Mark. Okay. Well, why, why am I getting credits at the start of the game? Alright, I'm skipping that. I just saw this. What the hell? Okay. Hi, I'm Penn Gillette, and this is my partner, Teller. Welcome to our video game, Pen and Teller's Smoke and Mirrors. This is Absolute Entertainment's top secret Ultramat testing center, where Teller and I have spent the last year or so. We've been holed up in here designing, drawing, and programming every single aspect of this game all by our lonesomes. Now, if you know anything at all about Pen and Teller, you'll know this isn't going to be your typical shoot 'em, kick 'em, jump 'em video game. So if you're, let's say, looking to goof around with short immigrant piping engineers <laughs> and or some hyperactive nocturnal insectivorous mammal, or a couple okay. of guys pounding each other's brains out, that's it. That's so it. obviously it's Mario and Sonic. Pound that sucker. Yeah, chest move. Street There's Fighter. Death move. Death move. Death move. Mortal Kombat. Death move. Death move. Death move. Kill oh god, him. what the hell? Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! The winner and still champion! I will be back to kill again. <laughs> if you like any of that sort of stuff, you're playing the wrong video game. <laughs> yes! There's great things here. I mean, there's uh, Mofo, the psychic gorilla, a mind-reading monkey that'll, that'll just kill you dead. Mofo, the mind-reading gorilla? Torture that uses amazingly intense and dangerous graphics that Teller and I invented. <laughs> Just the best, isn't he? It's all sleight of hand. Amazing. There's a uh, oh, uh, desert bus. That's the, the one I want to play. Bus simulator available on any Sega platform. Buzz Bombers, a sneak preview of a brand new absolute game that introduces two super cool characters. <coughs> What's your sign? Tell and I will figure out which sign of the zodiac you are with the help of our patented personometer device. And of course, a personometer smoke device and mirrors featuring yours truly and Teller doing things no one's ever done in a game before. Yep, you really got to be impressed with all the work we've put into this game. I mean, this baby was ours from beginning to end. We poured our heart and our soul into it. Man, the nights we spent. Tell remember? Hey, guys, how you doing? Oh, 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 hi, hi, buddy. Who's this guy? Uh, oh, pizza oh, guy. The pizzas. Oh, sure, yeah. the pizzas. Anchovies, pepperoni, mushroom, meatballs, oh, okay, the trend. Good. good. Well, why don't you just... Meatballs uh, on a pizza? Uh, all I've got is a, 
All I'm gonna is this more, more, more money, tell us, more money, tell us. Uh, do you need any more ideas today? Uh, oh, no, we're, we're uh, taping, we're that taping. No, the the idea of having anchovy pizza was really good. Did, uh, uh, did Desert Ball? Uh, why don't you just, uh, uh, bubble, yeah, yeah, don't just we got the pizzas. We uh, got you the, need uh, any more jokes? Sure you like the one pizzas. about the bear. <laughs> Sometimes when you're play, working all night, it's nothing like having a, having a nice slice of pizza to help you get ideas. Okay. <laughs> So on to the games. Um, so it looks like first game is What's Your Sign? Mofo the Psychic Gorilla. Desert Bus is the one I really want to play. Uh, Buzz Bombers, Sun Scorcher, and Smoke and Mirrors. Okay, let's see. So the first one is uh, What's Your Sign? Okay, let's play some What's Your Sign. Please insert disc two. What? Why is it already asking me for disc two? This is like the first game. The fuck? All right. Well, let me pop in disc two. Sega. All right, so this is now disc two. It's weird because it, it's like the first game on there. It should be asking for disc two on like. Please insert what? <laughs> what the hell? Are they fucking with me? Alright, so disc one now. Press and start. Okay, so I popped in disc one. All right, let's skip that again. Get right to the games. What's your sign? Okay, well, let's try that again. Please, ins what the fuck? Are they fucking with me? All right, I'm inserting disc two now. Okay. Press and start. Come on, man. Please insert disc one. Okay, they're fucking with me. They're fucking with me. All right, we're gonna do this one now. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna skip to the uh, the next game because obviously they're just fucking with me. All right, so we're back to this one. <laughs> they're they're screwing with me. Okay. All right, I'm pressing start. We're going to move on to the next game. This is Mofo the Psychic Gorilla. All right. Okay, we're going to do a little psychic demonstration here for you now. Through the sheer forces of our psychic wills, we will cause the pendulum that Teller is holding 
to move. Watch. Color's got to go in a little bit. I can feel a little bit of... It's almost like <laughs> pushing on a cool piece of air there. Now, the hands aren't actually doing anything. They're just a way for me to help concentrate. Yeah. See, if I could do it without the hands and just... I don't even have to move my head. I can just... <laughs> What is going on? Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Um, I, I don't, I don't want to go any long. Yeah. Let's, we're going to let you know a little secret. Uh, in this next bit, Mofo, the psychic gorilla, Mofo just thinks he's psychic. He's not. We say he is, and some people are going to believe he is, and we'll admit it even sounds cool to think he is, but the fact is, he isn't. Uh, Teller and I are big fans of science. We believe in objective, measurable reality. We're not a couple of paranormal nuts or mouthpieces for some mind-reading mentalist mumbo-jumbo. There's a logical scientific reason that the pendulum moved the way it did. Uh, you see, even though Teller thinks he's holding his hand perfectly still, he's not. You cannot hold your hand perfectly still. And while he's concentrating and thinking back and forth, his, his, his mind translates that into very, very small movements of his fingers. Movements oh, yeah. that are barely detectable by the human eye. Movements that even Teller doesn't know he's making. And we've applied this same principle to MoFo. You're about to see that. Only we're using the game controller instead of a pendulum. These same kind of micro-muscular movements. What Teller and I did was we retooled the computer code that interprets the information your Sega CD system receives when you press the buttons on your controller. We made the system's D-pad readings so super sensitive, they actually register your thumb's tiny micro-movements in response to the question MoFo asks. It's a lot like the way a lie detector is supposed to work, but lie detectors don't work. They don't, let them, they don't even use them in court. But we are lobbying hard to get this system, the D-pad controller linked in with the MoFo system, to be used as evidence in a court of law. So if you've got friends who want to believe in psychic stuff, <laughs> let them. <laughs> <laughs> Will. Yeah, right. And if I concentrate really hard, I can make Teller disappear. Poof, bitch. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> Some of us might be a little more powerful than others, but the rest of you are going to need this technology if you want to do anything really cool. Okay. <laughs> Made himself disappear. Mofo the Psychic Gorilla. That's a Genesis controller. Uh, so what am I doing? This this is epic. I don't get it. What, what am I doing? All right, I'm pressing start. I'm using the D-pad. Okay, I don't get what's happening. I'm pressing stuff. Are they fucking with me again? Oh, okay. He's spinning his head. I I don't get what's happening. Like, what am I supposed to do? All right, so he's he's moving his head. <laughs> Fuck you, mofo, the psychic gorilla. All right, I, I I don't get this game. I don't. I'm gonna move on to the the next one, which I believe is Desert Bus. Okay.
Sega. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Desert Bus is the one I'm really excited for. Buzz Bombers. What? Okay, this this is new. Hey, what the hell? Wait. Oh shit! This game's kind of hard. Oh shit! I uh, so it's like a over-the-top shooter kind of game. So I'm supposed to kill the bunnies or what what's going on? I don't get it. Am I supposed to save these babies or like? What the hell? Okay, so I died. I don't get this game. It is it a never-ending game? Whatever. I'm I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna skip up to the uh, the next one. What is this? Hello? Are they messing with me? <laughs> I'm so confused. What the hell is going on? Sega. All right, smoke and mirrors. Absolute TM.
All right, I'm clicking start. All right, so I've tried these two. I want to try Desert but Bus, obviously. Buzz Bombers. Okay, so that's that's what that other one was. So no need for Buzz Bombers. Let me try... This is the one I wanted to play. Desert Bus. You've played simulators before. We all have. Tanks, planes, race cars, submarines, hedgehogs. Heck, Absolutes even put out a few of them themselves. But let's face it, how many of us are ever actually going to use these valuable skills in our everyday lives? Sure, I guess there's a... Sure, I guess there's a chance you'll be on a major commercial airliner and have to take over for an unconscious pilot, or maybe after all those years of expensive schooling your parents worked so hard to put you through, you'll decide to chuck it all to enter the Indianapolis 500. It could happen. But for most of us, the chances are slim to none. Teller and I want to prepare you for the real world. We want to show you what life is really like. Desert Bus is the first in our line of what we like to call Vera Simulators. Games stupefyingly like reality. 360 miles from Tucson, AZ, to Las Vegas, NV. 45 miles per hour maximum. Tell her! Eight hours if you do it right. Don't let go of the controller and watch that little pull to the right. It's not glamorous. It's not pretty. It's not exciting. It's real. Oh, and check your manual for details on our Desert Bus Contest! Wow. Just watching Teller race through that dry, sandy, endless desert sure does leave me parched. Mm. Hey, hey, oh! Don't let go of the controller! No, let... You don't... Wait! You don't want four hours of hard driving to go right down the drain, do you? No. Do <laughs> what? I wouldn't drink too much water if I were you. It's 200 miles to the next rest area. <laughs> Desert bus. Okay, let's let's give Desert bus a try. Absolute Entertainment probably presents the first in its new line of ver, ver ugh, very simulators games stupefyingly something. Desert bus. Okay, so looks like it wants me to type in the name. Okay, let's do Let's do ass head. From Tucson to Vegas, three hundred and sixty miles. Driver zero. Okay, let's uh Okay, so I'm pressing B to start up the truck. Alright. So the truck is on. How do I drive? A does that noise. How do I drive? What's the drive button? Start horns. Oh, okay. 
A. You gotta hold A. Now it's driving. So I'm at 25 miles an hour. 30. Thirty-five, forty, forty-five miles. Okay. So I'm driving. <laughs> is this really it? Is this this is the game? <laughs> what the hell, man? So I'm driving, okay. I'm holding A. Is this really the game? I'm honking. Oh god, this sucks. This game is ass. What the hell? Okay, so there goes the stop sign. Am I supposed to stop? No, it's a bus sign. Okay. <laughs> oh, this game is ass. Okay, so what happens if I let go of the steering wheel? He mentioned something about watch out for the... So it looks, it looks like it's going to the right. Alright, so it seems like I'm getting stuck to the... to the uh, desert. And I'm slowing down drastically. Okay. Okay, so I'm still holding the button, but I'm not I'm not uh I'm not using the D-pad. What the hell? So the truck just stopped working? All right, so I'm I'm still pressing the button. <laughs> this game is ass. Um All right, so now I'm trying to get out of the uh What the hell? I can't get out. I'm I'm literally what what's going on? I'm stuck. What was going on? What the hell? What's this red flashing? Okay, so that's me honking. What the fuck? Okay. Wait, what? I'm getting towed, okay. Cause it's going in reverse, okay, I get it. <laughs> this game sucks so much ass. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> okay. Let's try uh, the next game.
dun 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 <laughs> Desert bus sucks so much ass. What's the next one? I think it was that Bumble Buzz game that I played earlier. But I'm gonna skip it because I already played it. Next game. What's your sign? Nah, nah. Desert bus, obviously. Sun Scorcherer. All right, let's try Sun Scorcherer. Please insert disc two. Ah, shit. I bet it's gonna fuck with me again. All right, I'm inserting disc two now. Please insert this one. Are they fucking with me again? You know what? I'm gonna skip this game. I'm gonna go to the last one. Because I think they're just messing with me. Again. <sighs> Skip. All right, let's try this last game. Smoke and mirrors. Smoke and mirrors. Normal, impossible, return to menu. Let's try normal, obviously. Mofo Magic Ink. And now for tonight's feature story. Those wildly popular Las Vegas magicians, Stink Bomb and Rot, have announced conclusively that magic actually exists and they themselves possess real magical powers. The dazzling duo plans to prove its claim at the forthcoming Stink Bomb and Rot show, which will take place in their opulent Las Vegas mansion, the Bengal Palace. Known for their extravagant showmanship and their ability to capture and tame endangered species, Stink Bomb and Rot have been partners since their early days as street performers in their hometown of Newark, New Jersey. Newark? Traveling to Europe, the presidigitory pair spent time at the legendary Fleek and Tejasa Circus, where they honed their performing skills and their unrecognizable accents. In addition to the Las Vegas spectacle, other magical luminaries, the Great Escapo and Beluno, both the great Stink Bomb and Rot followers, will demonstrate their own powers in New York City and at Harry's Midwest Carnival. Numerous Stink Bomb and Rot followers, fellow magic practitioners, and other show business supporters are expected to be out in force to stir up excitement for the big show. The public is encouraged to lend their support by donating generously to the Stink Bomb and Rot cause. In the words of Stink Bomb and Rot, magic is Stink all around bomb us, and rot. only we can show you that it is real. Its time has come. Nah. Okay, well then let's play.
Oh, okay. So it seems like I'm playing as Penn and Teller. I don't get it. Okay, so I'm pausing it. Joke cards, deck of cards. <laughs> Pen and teller. <laughs> Excuse me, but I have to laugh. You punks don't stand a chance against the mighty stink bomb and rot. They're what? sending their best and brightest magical underlings after you, and they'll use every last abracadabra to finish you off. Okay. What the hell, man? The Ron and Rob show? Closed? What are these cockroaches for? For rent? What the hell? This game sucks. What are these roaches for? Empty novelty? Can I go in there? Oh, I guess I can. No? What's going on? Okay, it's loading. Fake ID, fake blood, fake vomit, fake hair. Okay. Guess not. There's like no sound to this. What's what kind of game is this? Oh, I see. The roaches are like hit points. shows daily pen teller get killed all right so this guy looks bad pick a card pick a card pick a card I'm picking pick a card Pick a card. Pick a card. This game is ass. Pick a card. Pick a card. Pick a card. I'm picking. Joker card. Pick a card. Pick a card. Pick a card. Pick a card. I'm trying to, man. You're not letting me. Pick a card. Pick a card. Okay. So I'm going to move the other way. Ten shows daily? What the hell? There's no sound. Like, what the hell is going on? Yeah, I think those roaches are like hit points, maybe? Because every time I get hit, that number goes down. There's no music. Closed. The Ron and Rob show. Get one of these roaches. Mofo Magic Inc. 
Let Tom's Bakery Multiplex Cinema This game kind of sucks. What am I supposed to do? Pops. Doors open, so let me go in here. Daily specials. <laughs> what? There's like nothing to do. What the hell? All right, let's keep let's keep moving on. Hot X X X trot, hot trot, hot to the trot. Celebrity. How many movie theaters does this uh street have, man? It's like all these movie theaters. Stars, 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 stars. I don't... <laughs> this game is ass. Held over. Penn and Teller get killed. You are... What? Combined? Uh, yeah, there's nothing to do. So I'm going to... Uh, Well, let's try it one more time. Let's go all the way to the left. I mean, to the right. Because I, I, I was all the way to the left. Now I'm going all to the right again. Just to, to make sure if I missed anything. The Ron and Rob show. back to this guy okay well i'm gonna call it quits because this game sucks ass no fuck you i'm not gonna pick a card thank you for watching this episode of the evil console see you next time